Book 2 opens up with the meeting at Pandemonium. Pandemonium is the new capital of hell. Um, it's interesting that the construction of Pandemonium actually includes quite a bit of precious metals from the earth that uh, Pandemonium is definitely a display of wealth as far as what we think of as worldly wealth. And this seems fitting with uh, the, the capital of hell showing this uh, worldly splendor of wealth. Anyway, this meeting basically uh, they have all the multitudes of hell are attending, but there's different ranks. And we have kind of the leadership council table uh, that, that Satan sp sits at. Uh, the question that they're trying to figure out is, what now? What do we do now? Moloch is the first to speak. And Moloch says, let's go to war. Let's go back to war. Forget this uh, war by guiling and war by words and war by trickery. He wants direct warfare, direct assault on heaven. Um, and he uses to defend his uh, thirst for war. He uses Satan's earlier argument that we're already in hell. What's the worst that can happen? Um, why not continue to fight uh, heaven? Uh, because we've already gone through the worst thing that could possibly happen. They can't kill us. They can't make this situation any worse, so why not try? And he argues here that uh, they could use the, the, the weapons of hell that are new to them in their fight, like hellfire and things like that. He also says that the physical change that they've undergone would be enough to really kind of frighten uh, the hosts of, an, uh, of angels in heaven, uh, that they could use that for their advantage. So after Moloch's request for assaulting heaven, uh, Belial is an interesting demon. He's one that's, uh, Belial is said to have qualities of, he's a great speaker, but his words are ultimately self-serving. Uh, ultimately, they're hollow, but they wear, uh, uh, they, they wear pretty clothes, if that makes sense. As, as far as the, the words that he uses, they're very persuasive, but ultimately, they're, they're empty words. Belial argues for peace. But this isn't really a, a peace. Uh, in fact, the narrator says it's peaceful sloth. That it's just uh, inaction uh, because of, of laziness, because um, he doesn't want to risk what, what they already have. Uh, Belial argues that um, Moloch had said that if uh, the worst that can happen is we're already in, and if uh, God did decide that he wanted to actually kill us, that would actually be better than what we're facing now. And Belial says, whoa, 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 no, no, Moloch, no. I mean, right now is bad, but we still have rational thought. And uh, Belial basically argues that life, even a life of misery, is still better than death. Moloch argued that, hey, God would be doing us a favor if he decided to kill us. That would be better than what we have now. So come on, let's fight. Um, Belial is saying, oh, no, no, no. If God decides to kill us, I don't want that. I don't want death. Uh, right now, sure, I'm in pain, but I have the capability for rational thought. I have, uh, you know, I have uh, a life. And he wants to keep it, no matter how much torment he's in. Uh, interesting uh, difference between Moloch and, and Belial because there's logic on both sides that we do see. Um, Belial says, you argue it couldn't get any worse. Sure, it could get a lot worse. Um, so basically Be Belial says, don't do anything. Says, look, let's just leave heaven alone. Um, don't do any kind of warfare. Uh, don't do direct warfare. Don't do this. Uh, warfare through trickery, uh, through deception, just leave heaven alone. And he argues that maybe later on that they'll take pity on us and our suffering won't be as bad, uh, that um, it'll get better. Mammon uh, steps up after Belial, and Mammon's argument is the one that seems to be the most persuasive, especially to the rest of uh, Hell's hosts uh, after they hear it. Mammon basically argues that um, forget what we should do to heaven. Let's make our own life. Let's make our own heaven. Uh, Mammon argues that um, basically they have no hope of victory against heaven and warfare. Um, that uh, why not just 
set up their own heaven. Why not make the best of what they have 